everybody. I have something a little strange that's been going on, and I thought it was Kevin just messing with me. And he did say he moved the, the vodka bottle once, but it's been three days in a row now that the vodka bottle here has been moved out. I keep it back here because it's too tall to put underneath and everything. So I keep it back here. Now it's been three days that it's been moved to the edge of the bar like this. That's not the weird part, okay? I mean, that is a little strange, but even more strange is that the picture of my cousin Jimmy here, who passed away last year, has either been tipped over like this, or as you saw it this morning, it was turned like that. And Kevin says that he has not touched Jimmy's picture at all. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if maybe Jimmy is here and he's playing with us. If he likes vodka, maybe he's telling me he wants a shot of vodka. I don't know, but it's a little strange. So when we do our voice box session in the house here, because we did tell everybody that we were going to do a voice box session in our house, I will talk and ask Jimmy if he is here and if he wants some vodka. Hey guys, a couple of days ago I had my friend Tiffany take me for a urine test because I thought I was having a bladder infection and I'm still having a lot of pain. My urologist is not in the office and won't be back until Monday. So the receptionist or his, his nursing assistant told me that if it gets worse over the weekend to just go into urgent care and it is feeling a lot worse today. I'm having a lot of pain. So we're going to run over to urgent care. Hopefully it'll be a quick trip because Kevin does have a lot of stuff he has to do today and we can get back to the house and just keep going on with everything we have scheduled for today. So guys, it is a bladder infection. So I have an antibiotic that I have to take. So I'm going to go home. Well, first we're going to make a couple of stops and then I'm going to go home and finish up just a quick couple of little chores. And then I think I'm just going to kind of relax a little bit for a while and maybe after that, wake up and do some laundry and we'll Gro see. Groovy man. Kevin has a lot of work to do, so maybe I'll drag you guys along. We'll see how that works out. See y'all later. I'm out of gas. The car's screaming at me. Saying, feed me, feed me. Do you know where any gas stations are around here? No. Why don't you know? Because I don't know everything like you do. I know everything? Yes, you do. I know everything. Yes, you do. Is that right? That's right. Just remember that, I guess. Well, you claim to know everything. <laughs> now, now it comes out. Yeah. I don't claim to know everything. You claim to know everything. I don't claim to know anything. We're bouncing. <laughs> All I know right now is I'm driving on fumes. Well, you need to find a gas station. I'm looking for a gas station. Well, you need to find one fast. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hey, the car gets fed first, then you can get fed. That's how it works. And we are not getting on that freeway. You're mean. <laughs> Why am I mean? Because I'm hungry. So, if I feed you first, you may have to walk home. No.
Who remembers that when you pulled into a gas station that people used to do this for you? That you didn't have to do it yourself? Now you have to do it yourself. But he's doing such a good job. He always has a career to fall back on. Coming over this way. Mm. He's trying to scare me. Look, look, he left his water right there. See the water he left? He left water on there. He's fired. All right. Is there something in there? We have mail. Our very first mail from Clay. piece of mail and it says the neighbors on the back with the label maker and it is from Clay Angler in Landhead Indiana it looks like our Lawhead Indiana we know it's Clay bad with usernames it's Please give this note to Nikki and John. Ooh. So I'm not even going to open that. I'm going to hold on to that. They won't be back till the end of this month. <clears throat> so when they do come by to pick up their reptiles, I will make sure I pass that along to them. And this says for Val. <clears throat> And that's a picture of me in front of a whole bunch of Home Depot logos. And on this size, side it says, it's not just a man's store, it's a woman's store too. Thank you, Clay. I love it. And what else do we have here? He says... Kevin Val Bones, Megan driving to Starbucks, <laughs> Instagram at Clay Bad with usernames. Cool. And oh, there's this piece of paper here. Hi, Kevin Val and Megan. This is Clay from Clay Bad with usernames. I just wanted to say that I'm happy that you're vlogging. You guys should tell Nikki and John to give the fan page a shout out, but you guys should do mail vlogs from fan mail. Hope you liked my fan art, Clay. Username, the neighbors, <clears throat> password. I guess that's from, uh, that's for the, uh, the fan the page. The fan page, so you can yeah. Post your own. Yeah. So. So. All right. We'd love to do uh, uh, mail vlogs, but this is our very first. This is piece our very mail. first piece of mail. So I know Clay, you wanted us because you sent us an envelope, a self-addressed stamped envelope. Oh, looks like there might be something else here. Hold on. Up. Oh, 
this is the one. Autograph this, please. Kevin Valen Megan. So he wants us to autograph this, Kevin, myself, and Megan. And then he gave us a self addressed stamped envelope so that we can, I'm not going to show everybody his address, so that we can sign this and mail it back to him. Cool. So if anybody would like us to do that, please go ahead and mail us what you'd like. And we would be more than happy to sign it and mail it back to you. But this is really cool. I like this. So. Home Depot. Not just a man's star. It's a woman's star, too. Yes, dear. Yes. And I believe it because Clay, bad with usernames, said so. Okay, so after we got Belle back from the doctor, basically got her into a room and she goes right to sleep. Okay, and the other thing I thought I'd be interested in seeing is here's my garage and uh, all the house is so clean come out to my garage today and this is where it all went how do you like that very nice so that's what I'm doing today Five settings. Hey, this isn't working. You gotta turn the switch on it. Not that switch. It's on the side. Not that switch. Yep, that switch. Don't spray yourself. <laughs> oh, so I can't use them full. No. Nope. It's one or the other. Yep. That's okay. That's cool. 
The same five settings? I suppose. Look everybody, I got my shower head! Yay! Guess what time it is? It's time for shout outs! <laughs> Little Ashley 20 says that Kevin is a good man. And I have to agree. There are some, still some good men out there. And I was lucky enough to find this one back in 2003. We got married in 2005, so we're going on our 10-year anniversary next year, and I still love him. And? Yes, dear. I take that as, yeah, he still loves me, too. And T T Tyler Sullivan. We have been swamped with everything that had been going on, and I kept telling everybody we sorry if we missed you guys and apparently we missed giving him a shout out so hey. shout out to you Tyler oh my God. <laughs> I had to make Boys. it extra special since we missed him all right okay keep going <laughs> move on <laughs> Jesse Burdett wants us to check out his Instagram, and he wants everybody else to go by and check it out as well. So, go ahead and do that. And Bruce Billingsley. Bryce. Oh, Bryce. I'm sorry. Bryce Billingsley has a YouTube channel named Bryce Billingsley, and he posts himself singing country songs as well as some other stuff and he has friends that have channels that do gaming channels so go by and subscribe and check out Bryce singing it's pretty good keep up the good work Bryce and you need to say this one is that a, a the, you? yeah Karup? from I believe he's from Japan he was one of our very, very first followers. He actually started following Megan and I when we started our Instagram accounts. And he came over and started following us once we created our YouTube channel. So he has been one of our first and one of our most faithful followers. And he has never asked for a shout out. And I think we should give him a shout out. And that's for you, Karoop. Thanks for following us. And last but not least. What? People have been asking about your hand. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping it out of the videos, but it's very hard since it's in my right hand and I'm a right-handed person. I do have um, a couple of missing digits. Partially. So, well, they want to know how it happened. Well, when I was surfing off the off the shores of Australia, really, a great white shark came along. What? Really? No. Well, when I was on the Amazon River and I had fallen off the boat and the piranha started. Well. As you probably noticed when I earlier uh, vlogs, I do have a full workshop, wood shop. Both Val and I are, are woodworkers. We, uh, uh, for a while there, actually sold some of our goods at uh, uh, Renaissance fairs and uh, we were having a lot of fun. And one day I, I was not paying close enough attention to what I was doing on my table saw and I pushed the wood through with a couple of sticks, pulled my hand back, right over the blade, cut off all four of them. Reattached two of them, two of them they could not um, it's, you know, that was what, two years ago? Three More years than ago? That, three. Maybe three years yeah. ago. Um, it hasn't slowed me down. I, I'm still in the uh, backyard, still in the workshop, still playing the drums. That's the important part. That's what I was worried about, that he was not going to be able to play the drums. And he can still drum, 
and you guys will get to see that this October during our Halloween party because his band will be playing at the Halloween party, if not sooner. Yes, dear. See, I love that. Read his shirt, too. Guys, show everybody your shirt. Everybody's seen this shirt. I don't know if they can see it all. See? Mm -hmm. So, them's, them's the shout outs. Them's the shout outs. See you tomorrow. Thumbs up. Thumbs up.